Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be making the sprint uh, to use stamina because the last time we made these stat trackers in the left corner and it'd be nice if we could use some stamina whenever we're sprinting. A very simple thing to do, very easy. Logically we're going to do this in the same script in which we're running so let's just get the player motor and open it up and in here we have a function in which we're sprinting which is pretty much this and I would like to take all this copy it delete it from here and create a new function down here just so it's a bit more organized so just void sprint and then just paste this in here and then call this function right here but now what we want to do is we want to get the player stats from the player the player has on the same game object player stats and the player motor so that should be pretty simple to get we'll just create a new variable up here that will be called character stats and it'll be called player stats and then in the start function we can go player stats equals to get component character stats you might ask yourself yourself why are we why are we getting the character stats and not the player stats that are on the object that's because the player stats derive from character stats and uh, then we can just find the character stats if that makes sense and then here we can go player stats dot current stamina minus equals one let's see what that will do actually this won't do anything because we forgot to do a thing um, it's called player stats dot check stamina since that's the function that we created last time in our player stat script and right here it calls the check stamina function from the character stats sorry this one and then it calls the UI update right so now if you sprint you can see that it goes down pretty quickly now what I want to do is multiply this by time dot delta time since this will uh, decrease it every frame and if we have time dot delta time then it will decrease it each second and it will work much much better you can see now that we're getting 90 point something and then we get a decimal number we can fix that also we just want the whole number we can fix that in our player stats whenever wherever we have our set stats function or our update UI function or the function that updates our UI to set the stamina amount and if you see here player UI dot stamina amount dot text equals to current stamina to string what we can do here is just go and say this now what this will do it will just display the whole number and now if you sprint you can see that it goes 98 97 96 95 and there's just the whole numbers also what we can do is go into the jump function in our player motor alright we can create a jump function so we just go down here and say void the jump and then I'll just copy the uh, lines from the jumping part of the script and then copy them down here and call the jump function here this is just to make it more organized and I can then go player stats dot current stamina minus equals 10 times time dot delta time and also go player stats dot check stamina sorry my mistake delete time dot delta time we don't need it here we just need a 10 since this is not going to be done every second or it's going to be ju done just once every frame that we're jumping or every frame that that function is called and it's only called once if we jump you can see that it takes 10 stamina out of our stamina and that's it for this episode uh, we're able to use our stamina whenever we sprint or jump what we need to create in the future episode is the stamina regen system because if we just get to zero and um, we can't really get any stamina back and we're always left with zero stamina and we can't jump or sprint ever again so that's what we're going to do next episode shouldn't be too hard and hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like comment down below subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.